Hello everyone. This is Dr. Venkatesh, consultant psychiatrist, Fortis Hospitals, Bangalore. Today we are discussing about obesity and the associated mental health issues. As we all know, obesity is a major epidemic across the world, be it developing countries or developed countries. Obesity puts an individual at a heightened risk for various other medical conditions like diabetes, hypertension, cerebral vascular accidents, stroke, polycystic ovary disease, etc. But what is more important is people who are overweight or obese are also presenting with coexisting mental health issues like depression, anxiety, eating disorders like anorexia nervosa or bulimia, etc. People who are obese mostly use eating as a self-medication hypothesis. What exactly does it mean is the underlying emotional disturbances, either depressed states or anxiety states, predisposes an individual to consume more food. Here, these people take food as a measure of making them feel better. Basically, foods like carbohydrates, they provide a heightened mood state. It brings them out of depression. In case of anxi anxiety individuals, they use food as a compulsive eating habit. It's emotional eating because of which they can't stop consuming food because the underlying emotional state is predisposing towards it. In some cases, people do use wrong patterns of shedding weight like succumbing to substance use like smoking in order to cut down the appetite. So it's quite important for us to identify what are the underlying psychiatric issues which is causing the barrier to handle obesity. Lastly, even some individuals with childhood sexual abuse, they try to use overweight or obesity pattern has a shielding mechanism because that's the psychological mechanism by which they can protect themselves from possible further crimes. So how do we manage obesity and underlying emotional issues? Everybody are quite aware about diet management, healthy lifestyle, uh, even in severe cases bariatric surgery but to begin with losing weight we can try to identify any underlying emotional issues with some structured interview questionnaires. If even after that, if we find any underlying uh, mental health issues, one can try to follow some food daily patterns. Now you can start recording what's your food intake at, uh, on a given day, at what time, associated mood states, any stressful factors one perceiving. So one can maintain a food daily over a period of a week and then reflect upon what's the pattern one is indulging in. If even after, if somebody is still having trouble shedding weight, then it's, it's preferable to meet a mental health professional to identify any underlying issues.